So it all comes down to this, the end of an era. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the film review, episode number 23. And the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Now this film was directed by David Yates, who has directed the last three films, and it stars Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, Rafe Fiennes, Alan Rickman, Maggie Smith, Helena Bottom Carter, and a whole slew of other actors. Now basically this film picks up where Part 1 left off, as Harry, Ron, and Hermione continue to find the Horcruxes to destroy Voldemort, and soon they make their way back to Hogwarts, which becomes the site of the final showdown between good and evil. Now, I've been waiting for this film for a long time, and if I could describe it in just one word, it would be perfect. I can't think of a better way to end the series. Everything here is as it should be. The performances from everyone in the cast are excellent, especially from the three leads. You know, it's been really amazing to watch them grow up before our eyes over the past 10 years, and they give stellar performances here. Other standouts here include Alan Rickman as Snape, who gives some of his most emotional work here in the entire series, and Ray Fiennes just embodies Lord Voldemort with his movements and his speech that's just terrifying. I must say, the action in this movie is pretty awesome. Part 1, you know, was a, was a much more meditative, slower-moving movie, but this one just pretty much is relentless with its non-stop action that's always thrilling to watch. The special effects, as usual, are some of the best that you can get from Hollywood blockbusters today. But I think the thing that makes me the happiest about this movie is that it really captured exactly how I was feeling when I first read this book all those years ago. The biggest moments to me from the book were played out exactly how I wanted them to. And let me say that there are some really powerful emotional scenes in this movie. Some of the most powerful scenes that I think are in the entire series. The movie was funny when it needed to be, scary when it should, and thrilling in the same ways that the book was. You know, I honestly could not ask for a better adaptation. Ultimately, I'm going to give Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 a very strong 5 out of 5 stars. I was incredibly satisfied with this film, and it really tied up all the loose ends. Let's just say for sure that it went out with a bang. So that's it for this review. My next review will probably be sometime next weekend when I review Captain America, the first Avenger, the latest Marvel superhero film. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the other side.